Let's get ourselves connected. So we're sitting here with David Hicks from CIRA, the Canadian Internet Regist Registration Authority. Did I get that right? Yes, that's correct. Very good. So you guys are behind the .ca name. That is correct. We're the, uh, we run the registry for .ca and Canada's DNS service. So if you type .ca into your browser to go to a website, uh, we're the organization that uh, you know, manages the registrations and uh, make sure that you get directed to the right website. Big milestone, you guys have just hit a million. That's correct. That's correct. So I said uh, we started in 87 and uh, it's taken us uh, just over 20 years to get there. But uh, growth has been quite rapid in the last little while and we just crossed that uh, 1 million mark uh, this month. Um, a lot of people might not know this, you're a non-profit. That's correct. We're a non-profit and we're actually uh, not a government agency either. Uh, we're, uh, we're an independent organization and uh, obviously we work with the Canadian government and with Industry Canada and uh, also with ICANN, which is sort of the global body that, uh, that manages uh, domain registrations across the world. But uh, I said uh, we're definitely not for profit and we're here for sort of the benefit of uh, Canadians on the internet. What's interesting, um, unlike a, a lot of countries, you have to be Canadian or have some sort of Canadian presence to have a .ca? That's correct. Uh, unlike, say, a .com or .net or uh, some of the other country codes like uh, .uk for the United Kingdom, uh, we, uh, we actually require that uh, you uh, meet Canadian presence requirements. So you can, uh, when you're using a .ca, you know that you're dealing with a Canadian or Canadian business. So you actually go to people's houses and make sure they, they live in Canada? O only if you're being bad. <laughs> We, uh, we do, uh, do verify, of course, that people make, uh, that meet those uh, presence requirements from time to time, though. How many people work at CERN? Uh We've got uh, just under 40 people, and uh, we're growing quite rapidly. We uh, hope to hit uh, 50 people by the end of the year. And so, uh, is it just you just do the .ca registrations? Are there any other things, other services you guys do? Um, well, as I mentioned earlier, we do the registrations for .ca, and uh, I said uh, we also run the DNS uh, service. And I said that's, uh, that that sort of connects the, uh, the you know the www .whatever .ca to the, the the correct web server, the IP address. So we, we Who run. Who pays you for that? Sorry. Who pays you for that? Uh, the government or? No, no. Actually, every time you register .ca, you go yeah. through one of our registrars. They charge you a fee. It range anywhere from about ten dollars to about thirty dollars, depending on the, the services they offer. And uh, from that, we take a wholesale fee, and that uh, those fees go to uh, to running those services. So if you weren't here, we would have no internet in Canada. Uh, it would be very difficult to get a hold of a .ca. That's for sure. That's for sure. And uh, any big plans for the future, or just continuing to grow? Well, obviously, we just crossed a million threshold, so we're all going to take a bit of a vacation. Uh, <laughs> No, I mean, uh, we have been growing quite rapidly, uh, roughly 20% per year over the last uh, five years. And uh, so I said we hope to get to that 2 million milestone and beyond. And, uh, you know, obviously always looking to improve our service and uh, making sure that more Canadians are aware of uh, what we offer. And where can people go to find out what you guys are about? Well, we can go to www.cira.ca. Uh, that's our uh, website and, of course, in both French and English. Very good. Thanks for joining us. Thank you very much. Let's get ourselves connected.